Hey guys, it's Lopez, and today I'm reviewing Blue Noir Parfum by Narciso Rodriguez. Alright guys, so this is a Parfum Concentration. This is the 100ml bottle, 3.3 fluid ounces. The price range for this fragrance is $65. So we're going to start off with the box presentation. It's a simple box, blue and black box, ingredients in the back. You get a barcode down here, and then you get a batch code. The batch code is 2004E9, and it's pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and unbox this. So this is the fragrance out of the box. Right off the bat, it reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana's The One. Very elegant. It fits good in the hand, just like the Dolce Gabbana. You get information down here, barcode, chrome lettering. The juice is like a dark blue, and the bottle seems to be like a uh, smoke color. And the atomizer is like a chrome black. If you're able to see that, it's kind of chrome, like a black chrome. I'm gonna show you guys how it sprays. Not bad at all. White. So the main notes that I pick up is sandalwood and iris. The notes that I listed for this fragrance are cypress, cardamom, bergamot, mandarin orange, iris, suede, musk, sandalwood, tonka bean, leather, vetiver, and atlas cedar. This fragrance was released in 2022. I would say it's a versatile fragrance. It's very elegant. It's very smooth. You can spray this on at any time, in the hot summer days, in the fall, in the winter. It just sits close to the skin. It's very smooth. It's not overpowering. You can even use these in interviews and it won't bother anybody. It's like I said, it's a very elegant fragrance and it comes in two sizes, the 50 ml and the 100 ml. So what's the duration on this fragrance? I was able to get two hours of projection, six hours on the skin, and eight plus hours in the clothing. I would recommend doing 10 to 12 sprays with this fragrance. Always overspray because you're better off overspraying than underspraying. You don't wanna be those guys that keep the fragrance in their vehicles and has to respray on their break time. Just spray once before going to work, before heading out. Make sure you spray enough so you won't have to worry about having to respray because a lot of people don't use their fragrances right. They have to respray it or keep it in the car. The sun hits it, whatever, makes it not work, whatever. Spray properly the first time and you should be fine. I work long hours, 8, 12 hours, and I'm still able to make any fragrance last all day. Do I recommend this fragrance? Yes. If you're a fan of the Iris Note, which is in Dior Homme Intense, Dior Homme Parfum, Valentino Homme Intense, etc., then you're going to love this one because... This one's a little different. This one's like a mix of aquatic and that lipsticky note at the same time, which I find I do find it interesting because I haven't smelled a uh, a iris fragrance that is kind of like the best of both worlds. It's aquatic and lipsticky at the same time, which I like a lot from this fragrance. And Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir has two other fragrances. The Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, which are completely different. Those are more of aquatic fragrances. And this one, which would be the Parfum version, has the iris note in it, which just changes it up a bit. It just gives it that half lipsticky with the aquatic note in it. Would I repurchase this fragrance? Absolutely. For $65, get a fragrance like this. I would definitely buy it again because not a lot of people know about this fragrance. Not a lot of people are going to be wearing this fragrance. I like to be that person that smells different than everybody else. And plus, it's versatile. You can use this at any time. This is not going to offend anybody. It's like an office scent. And it's just very sophisticated, elegant, and women love this fragrance. So what does this fragrance remind me of? It reminds me of Blue de Chanel and Dior Homme if they had a baby. That's just my opinion. Uh, because it's aquatic and it's lipsticky. Every time I talk about a lipsticky fragrance, the first thing that comes to mind is Dior Homme. And aquatic, one of the top ones that show up is 
Blue de Chanel. And I just think it smells like a half and half of that fragrance, but that's just my personal opinion. It's aquatic and it's lipsticky at the same time. It smells very elegant, it's smooth. Uh, the performance is not bad at all. You're getting easily, with overspraying, you're getting eight plus hours, plus more. I mean, it's gonna last longer on the clothing, but that's what I would call it, uh, aquatic lipsticky. So I'm gonna give this fragrance a thumbs up for presentation. It looks just like Dolce & Gabbana's The One. The quality of this fragrance, it smells like lipstick and aquatic at the same time. The quality is very smooth and elegant for what you're paying. You're paying $65 for this. Good stuff. A lot of people are not going to be wearing it because not a lot of people know about this fragrance unless they're frag heads like us. And it's just a very nice, subtle fragrance. Guys, I know I've been out for a few months. I had to do a career change. I uh, decided to do corrections. Now I'm locked in prison for long hours. And um, in prison, I don't have time to film. I don't have time to make my reviews. It's a whole different ball game. And uh, thankfully I had time to do a, uh, a quick review uh, with this part-time job. Whenever they need help, I come in and uh, I work. And when I get time, I go and I do these quick reviews because I still have a lot of fragrances that I want to review. I got like 100 plus more fragrances that I keep buying and that I really want to review, but I don't have the time for it. But I'm going to try to work hard with work and trying to do my reviews because this is just a passion of mine. And um, as far as like compliments and fragrances and all that stuff, I still spray on my usual, you know, 10, 15 sprays, whatever it is. And I'm getting a lot of compliments from the inmates. So that's a plus because uh, those guys are locked in there for, you know, years and they have nothing else to do. And when they smell a CO and they're like, hey, you smell really good, that's a compliment. Like I literally, I spray on different fragrances and I get compliments. Like literally the most compliments I've gotten in a day were probably like nine and that's just because I was walking around them and they were just kissing my ass or being nice. But yeah, I, I got compliments and that's going to help my reviews. But anyways, guys, that was it for today. This was a review of Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir Parfum. Until next time, guys. Thank you.